Mr. Game & Watch is a weird character that is uncommon to see in high level play, and there's no really good place to find out accurate information about him besides speaking to other Game & Watch mains. So in this video, I'm going to be detailing one of his strangest options, the Judge Hammer. He swings his hammer and holds up a number from 1 to 9, with 1 being the weakest and 9 the strongest, and each of those has a different effect. So I'll be going over the different applications here. In Melee, there was only a 1 in 7 chance of getting any given number, because you could never get the last two numbers you used, and at the start of a match, those two numbers are 1 and 2, so you can't start a match with those. In Smash 4, it actually is a 1 in 9 chance every time, so you can throw the same number twice. Number 1 does 2% and has no hit stun, making it unsafe on hit. 1 also does 12% to Game & Watch, even if he's invincible from respawning. You can actually take advantage of it by using the one hammer to get yourself out of percent specific kill setups. 2 does 4% and it does make your opponent flinch, but it is still unsafe on hit. 2 is actually able to jab block people, but since it's a 1 in 9 chance, it's usually better to go for a weak fair. 2 also has a somewhat low chance to trip your opponent. 3 does 6%, sends people right behind you, and from here on out these are all going to be safe on hit. 3 also does 25 extra points of shield damage, so you can break shields with it. If you think you're cool, you can try this on someone who's shielding on a platform. 4 does 8%, sends at a normal angle, and doesn't really kill, so it's very boring. Now 5 on the other hand is really cool. It has 4 different hits dealing a total of 12% and gives you good positioning for follow-ups. 6 also does 12% and sends at a very low angle, which is good for setting up for an edge guard. It also has decent kill power, so sometimes you can kill your opponent outright at high percents. 7 deals 14%, does average knockback, and it creates an apple that heals 4% and that you can spend the rest of your life taking care of. 8 does 8% 8 and freezes your opponent, so you can go for a follow-up when they come out of the ice. And the prettiest hammer out of all of the hammers is the 9 hammer. It's super hype and everyone wants to see it because it does 32% and pretty much kills at zero. It actually has a smaller hitbox than the other hammers, and since it does 32 damage, it's even better at breaking shields than 3. Now that we've talked about what every number does, here are a few setups into hammers. The most popular combo is down throw 9, which generally works in the mid-30s. After that, you'd have to jump up to reach them. Another cool setup is landing with the fourth hit of Nair into a hammer. You can also jab reset into a hammer. If you hit someone with a piece of bacon, you can hammer them. You could use an item to set up into it. My favorite way to set up into a hammer is to do a down throw up tilt nair into it, because that way, no matter what number it is, I still got a good amount of damage. This isn't every setup for Judge, but as any real game and watch main knows, the best setup is no setup. Just walk up to him and nine. So regarding the viability of this move, it's pretty obvious that it can't be consistent. Even though there are consistent setups, and 7 of the 9 options are generally positive, you can usually just opt for a more optimal or consistent option, like down throw nair instead of down throw hammer. It's 17%, oftentimes you can follow up, and you get to trap their landing afterwards. It's very common for people to ask a game and watch to hammer during a tournament match, and no one wants to do it more than them, but usually there's just a better option. You need to account for the worst possible outcome. As the third lightest character, can you afford to take 12% right now? Or can you afford to jump up to someone and do a move that has no hit stun? It is a really fun option to go for though, so I don't blame anyone who does it. Well, if you play Game & Watch, or if you think that Down Throw 9 is completely broken, then I hope this video has helped you out. It took a very long time to get footage of what every number can do, so hopefully my next video about Game & Watch won't take as long to make. This was pretty basic, just covering a move that a lot of people don't fully understand, but later I'll be moving into stuff like combos and uh, neutral. So, you know, stay, stay here if you're interested in that stuff. And thank you to everyone who helped me make this video, the folks in the Game & Watch Discord. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description, my buddy JRuff, the Donkey Kong that you see in like 90% of these clips, uh, was a big help, and thanks for watching.